Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here, I appreciate it. This week I am working on another three color swipe with some really bright colors. I'm working with my Oxide Black as my base and some really pretty colors to swipe on through. Okay, and going to this pour with some color, here is some Deep Red by Amsterdam. Now, I never used this particular color by these guys before. And to be honest, this mixed really smoothly. I was quite excited by how bright it was. And I just thought that the color was very pretty. And also, using some nice Deep Red Violet, again by Amsterdam. And I was going for some brighter colors in this pour, wanting to make sure I cover the black as best I could, knowing the base would make it super dark, as we get a bit of a weird reflection off that oxide black. And here is my last color, the manganese blue, which is a shade of phthalo blue, but incredibly pretty. Now before swiping through, here is my titanium white Amsterdam uh, cell activator, which I use for my swipes. I dumped onto some wax paper beside my pour just to have it handy with my two inch palette knife, which I'd say to be honest, these swipes I think are some of the nicest swipes I've had in quite some time. Now, this first swipe, and maybe it was the blend of paint and flow chill I used for my swipe went really well, I was very excited. Now it went a little bit too deep right about here in that swipe, so there's some black in the middle that came on through, but we'll correct that in a second. Now with this second swipe, I could tell off of this swipe, this is where things were going to determine how my night was gonna go. The swipe began really smoothly. I maintained really good control of my pal knife and the cells and lacing were gorgeous. I was really happy with how things went. I went over that black I kinda dug into before and I found that this stripe of lacing and the blend, the blend of color were really, really pretty. And so I had a good feeling about this pour, just generally um, that things would go well and kind of in my favor for this week's pour. Okay, now I'm going into my second row of colors. So we have the red, the violet, plus the manganese blue, which is a fun word to say. Um, I felt like this color combination would be really pretty in a diagonal fashion, back and forth, hoping for some negative space in the middle is my plan here. So um, no, I felt like this color combo was a really big win because it gave a lot of great color across the entire canvas, but also some pretty lacing. The violet and red with the blue managed to pull across the, the entire canvas and show out just incredible. So I was quite happy with this combination and how things turned out. Now looking back on this particular swipe, I may have to retract the fact that I said I had my favorite swipe as my second. This one I think is probably the best because it gave itself um, the best shot at being as far across the canvas as possible with the best amount of coverage. So I was quite happy with all four of these swipes. And as you can tell in the bottom right corner, there's a small pooling of my oxide black with the color. Now at this point, I know I'm a little bit heavy in terms of, when I say heavy, my, my oxide black was a bit thick compared to my color. So I wanted to cover the canvas as much as I could with as much color as I could to make sure that when I began to tilt, as I lost my heavier oxide pulling off that color, I would have enough paint to get corner to corner and fill each spot across the canvas. Okay, adding a third little corner here, just again to add a bit more paint to the canvas, making sure I wanted to get corner to corner on each of my four corners. And this is more about maintaining the quantity of paint I need to get across the entire thing. And if I lose this corner, I'm okay with that, that's all right, but again, it's more about getting about three, four more ounces of paint on the canvas versus running out before my tilts are over. And now all things considered, I actually wanna to try to keep this corner as best I can. I actually like the way it turned out because of the smaller little puddles I had with that corner spot and the way the lacing turned out. So 
In the end, it was a good little test, I suppose, to get more paint on the canvas, but try to maintain that corner as best I can. Now, with the tilts, again, I, my black is heavier than my color, so I've got to be careful here with how I tilt and how fast I'm going, you know, corner to corner, front and back. So I've got to figure out here with my weights where the paint is on the canvas. So I'm going very slow. And again, with this type of pour, I have to be slow on purpose because if I go too quickly, it may stretch my cells and lacing a bit too far, making them distorted which really isn't pretty, right? So um, no need to rush, just take your time, go back and forth, side to side, and corner to corner. I decided to dump the corner closest to me first, as we see there, and try to get those lacings to spread out and look as great as possible. Okay, and first of all here, sorry for the glare in the pour, as I tilt towards the opposite corner on this one, so um, looking at this pour now, as I see it, I'm really happy with how much paint I chose to use in my mix because I have been using more paint than typical, I guess, in my past pours because the pigments in each of the paints tend to bind each other together a bit better and hold their shapes much better. So with my swipes in particular, I found that using more paint and more floor charl slash pouring medium does lead to better results in the end. So um, no, the lacing at the, from my view, looking down on it now, as I was making this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. It took an hour to tilt that paint down in the corner, but the lacing itself and the colors were really, really pretty. All right, as for my question of the week, I pose to you guys who follow me. Um, first of all, thank you for those of you who helped pass um, 4,000 subscribers on my channel. That's amazing. Thank you for being here, I appreciate you. Um, it's been a fun two years plus a month or so. So again, thank you so much for being here, I appreciate it. Now, back to my question. Um, would you, as an audience, like to see any videos with my face in them? So far for two years, I've been a faceless um, YouTube channel, so I'm considering doing some face videos in the future. I want your feedback on that below, so let me know in the comments and we can chat about it. Okay, now as we finish up this last corner of my tilts, first of all, I really love this piece. I am in love with the color blend of the blue, the deep red, and the violet make this thing super pretty. This may be the first piece I resin of this size. I'm pretty excited to see it cured up and then make these colors shine again in the future with, an, with a resin finish. So that's my game plan anyhow. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, click that like button below. I would appreciate it. And we will lean into some finished results in a sec here. Okay, and going in for a look at the wet results, this is one of the prettier pieces I've done in a little while. I'm really happy with how nice this turned out in terms of contrast. From bright colors to oxide as a base, it looks really good. I'm quite happy with the color blend like I mentioned before. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? I love your opinions and comments below on this piece itself. Um, the lacing really stuck around and even as it dried, it turned out beautifully. So. If you've enjoyed this um, video, please click that like button below and we will see you again in the next one.